what's going on guys and welcome to your 33rd HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be discussing about a very important concept in CSS which most of the people on this planet don't know is CSS specificity. Now CSS specificity not to threaten you is one of the most important and difficult concept to understand in CSS. Though it is not much of that uh, use in while you're doing practically some things but when you're debugging your CSS code for example when you try to know that why your properties won't, uh, were not applied then the CSS specificity would help you to understand so let's say I have a div right here with ID as my div and class as well as my div so let's say I have a long sentence right here Hello world, how are you? I'm just playing with CSS. So I have this sentence right here inside my div which follows a ID attribute as well and a class one as well which is perfectly valid. So let's move to our style sheet and if you notice I have already linked it with the external style sheet and let's say I create div color green and my div color blue so div is right here targeting this div and dot my div which is a class is also targeting my div so what's your best guesses which style would be applied would the sentence be the sentence would be blue or would this sentence would be green so let's see what this would be let's reload this page and as you can see the sentence right here in front of you is blue now why is this so why did the browser did not follow this div and this is all about CSS specificity the choice of browser to follow a certain uh, style rule or neglect a certain style rule and this is not a random thing so this is a system adding thing which you, we can understand by understanding CSS specificity so let me create a nice table right here and uh, if I haven't uh, explained you the comments in CSS they are pretty much like a forward slash with a star for the opening line and the star with a forward slash again for the closing comment so right here everything you write would be ignored by the CSS file so okay so we have got the order as style and ID and class and then element so these are the priorities of the browser so style by style what I mean is the internal style for example I give style right here as color um, pink so when I reload this then the color is pink instead of blue so the browser first of all would look at any style which is applied with the style attribute on the element itself and uh, once it finds it then it would ignore all these and if not then it would move in the table so the next time uh, the next thing this browser would follow is the ID one so ID we don't have any ID selector though we have a ID sign but I'm not using any ID selector right now so this is blank then it would go to class right now we have a class with color blue so this has to follow class first and then to the element which is the element name selector so this kind of happens that if you have a class first and then a element then this would apply this would follow the class one so okay you would ask me that Mehul if we have something like div dot my div color blue well, let's just remove that and we have let's say uh, my div now notice that in this line I'm targeting every div on the document which has the class as my div which obviously refers to this div only and in this line I'm targeting everything which has the ID my div 
but in this table right here if you notice that ID is preferred over classes and elements so what uh, would this make any difference that if I use div dot my div instead of uh, basically against this ID one and my answer is yes it would make a very much uh, difference when you use something two things or more things together two or more selectors together basically and that's how pretty much like um, your uh, CSS specificity works so all these are assigned a special quantity for example for style we have a thousand points for this style now this uh, okay try to understand it like this way let's say when we apply something with the style then browser says okay so award this this tag right here with a thousand points when the style is applied so when the style is applied then thousand points are awarded to this element and if not then none points then on the ID one the ID is assigned a hundred points so whenever ID is present in this uh, this your CSS file then a hundred points would be assigned to the ID the class the class is assigned 10 points so whenever a class is assigned then it would get 10 points and with the element obviously with one element you have got a single point so in the last browser would sum total everything so for example um, let's say your uh, right here my div okay so my div how many points are assigned to my div and you say that you see that in ID we have got 100 points so the total is 100 all right and in this div dot my div you see that we have got an element and we have got a class so the total point is 10 plus 1 and which is 11 so since 100 is obviously greater than 11 therefore the browser would follow this style right here instead of this style so this style would be ignored by the browser and this style would be followed by the browser and similarly we have got a lot of another things that uh, actually you could use like HTML body then like body dot class one then HTML dot class zero so let's say if I apply HTML class 0 then body class 1 class 1 or uh, it should be class 1 sorry class 0 because we can not actually start the classes with a numeric value same with the IDs so the total of this would be now 1 for HTML 10 for class 0 1 for body 10 for, 10 for class 1 one for div and ten for class my div. So the total is ten plus one eleven plus ten twenty one plus uh, one which is twenty two thirty two and thirty three which is still less than the ID one. So now you understand the power of IDs in CSS. Now one thing before I stop this tutorial is that let me tell you about a special keyword in CSS which is important and it's important kind of and it's important as it is spelled so this is important and if you notice this exclamation mark right here then uh, this is basically what it differs from property and this keyword so let's say um, you have this dot my div let's say with the div which has the least value of one so now you know one is obviously less than 100 so this style would be never ever used by the browser but let's say this style is somewhere hard coded in some other library file which you don't have access to so you want to apply some styles uh, forcefully on the browser so what you'll do is you'll type your property any property would go and uh, let's say color should be red 
add with a space or without without a space it's up to you both of them are correct press the exclamatory mark by shift and pressing your key one and type the keyword important and this important keyword would mean that this style right here should be forcefully applied to your CSS of the browser and this important is this important keyword is superior to everything and stands for a value of 10,000 so you see how difficult it is to override this important keyword because its value is 10,000 whereas the value of style is a thousand ID is a hundred classes is 10 element is 1 so this important let's see it in the browser let's reload this and now you can see with the least value of 1 we are applying this important and right here the value becomes 1 plus a 10,000 which is um, if I wrote it correctly it's 10,001 yeah so 10,001 is of obviously greater than 100 so it overrides everything in its way so that's how pretty much CSS selectors work with CSS specificity and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have crafted this concept then congratulations you understood one of the most difficult concepts in CSS so I'll see you then next time and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching